Hi, this is Muni. I am a solutions architect with Amazon Web Services based out of Seattle, Washington. In this video, I am going to show you how fleet auto scaling works. When you create a fleet, you start with a minimum and maximum number of streaming instances. Based on the user demand, your fleet can grow and shrink with the scaling policies that you define for your fleet. For AppStream 2.0, the scaling policies can be configured for different metrics like available capacity or insufficient capacity or capacity utilization. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to scale in and scale out your fleet based on the capacity utilization metric. Let's consider a scenario where we have created a fleet size of minimum two and maximum five instances. In this case, minimum and maximum values will act as boundaries for the fleet. What this means is at any point of time, fleet size can never fall below two instances and can never go beyond five instances. For this demo, we have defined a scale out policy that adds two instances to the fleet if the capacity utilization is greater than or equal to 50%. With this initial configuration, let's see how our scale out policy will add instances to the fleet based on the user demand. At present, since no one is connected to the fleet, the capacity utilization is at 0%. Let's say one user got connected to the app stream session. Since one out of two instances are being utilized, now the new capacity utilization is at 50%. Since our scale out policy says, if the capacity utilization is greater than or equal to 50%, then add two instances. In this case, two new streaming instances, instance three and instance four will be added to the fleet. You can see the new streaming instances being added to the fleet. Now let's say two more users initiated a connection to the fleet. Now the new capacity utilization is at 75%. This will again trigger the scale out policy, which is supposed to add two more instances to the fleet. But since we defined maximum fleet size to be five and it already has four instances, it will add only one instance to the fleet. You can see the new streaming instance, which is streaming instance five being added to the fleet. Now the new capacity utilization is at 60%. Though a scale out policy again triggers, since the fleet is up to maximum capacity, no new instances will be added to the fleet. This is how a scale out policy works. Now let's see how a scale in policy works. Let's consider a fleet where five streaming instances are running, but only one user is connected. For this demo, we have defined a scale in policy that removes two instances from the fleet if the capacity utilization is less than 35%. With this configuration, let's see how our scale in policy will remove instances from the fleet based on the user demand. As you can see, since only one user is connected to the fleet, the current capacity utilization is at 20%. Since our scale in policy says, if the capacity utilization is less than 35%, remove two instances. In this case, instance four and instance five will be terminated. You can see both instance four and instance five being terminated from the fleet. Now the new capacity utilization is at 33.33%. This will again trigger the scale in policy because the capacity utilization is still less than 35%, which is supposed to remove two more instances. But since we defined the minimum fleet size to two instances, only one instance will be removed. You can see instance three being terminated from the fleet. This is how a scale in policy works. You can also use schedule based scaling that schedules the fleet capacity based on cron jobs. For example, you can schedule a fleet to run only on Monday, Wednesday and Friday with a capacity of five instances from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and a capacity of two instances from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. With this requirement, this is how your fleet size looks like with five instances from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Whereas from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m your fleet runs only two instances. This is based on cron job you specify for your fleet. You can also schedule this for whole month. So that's about fleet auto scaling. Using this feature, you'll be able to grow or shrink your fleet based on your user demand. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.